Hey guys, Peyton Snake back here again for another video for you guys tonight. Now, in this video, I'm, I'm going to be talking or showing you guys um, all like all the horror films. Probably, I think every like horror film. I don't, not 100 percent sure if it fits every one, but meaning like ones I remember watching as like probably since I was two. Yes, of course, I was always I, I, I was always a horror fanatic when I was two years old. <laughs> yeah. um... I know it, it seems weird, but, yeah. But these are, like, basically movies I've seen from ages probably, like, 2 to 12. Um, so, I, 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 you know, 13 I consider, like, once you're 13, you're, like, a teenager, but... But meaning, like, as a kid, kid. I mean, you get the point. But, um... But, yeah, um, there's, like, 30 movies here I'm gonna show you guys that I watched often as a kid. Um, and, um... And some of these belong to my mom, so, um, but the first ones I'm going to be showing that, that belong to me, so I'll let you know the ones that are my mom, so, um, because some of them I didn't own yet, yet, so, um, yeah, but, I mean, I guess, I think, like, um, now, I, I, now, what I mean by, by about this video is I didn't actually, like, sat down and watched, like, the horror movie, I mean, I mean, some, not all of them. I mean, some of them, it could be, like, a scene I remember rewinding over and over again because I, I was like, oh, my God, this scene is cool. What is this movie, you know? So, I mean, I don't know. I guess it can – I don't know if it's considered, like, watching, watching, but I don't know. But it's just basically – this video is just basically, like, um, the point of it is, like, um, movies that really got me into horror, like, like as in today. Okay, so anyway, the first one I have is, um, you know, of course, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and everyone knows this movie, um, you know, about um, a group of those friends who, um, who, um, I think they run out of gas, or um, they get lost or something, and, you know, and they end up going to Leatherface's house and to ask for directions, and Leatherface um, goes out killing people one by one. Everyone knows the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. I'm I always kind of liked them. I mean, the fourth one I did not. The fourth one it was just full crap. But this next one, um, the next one is Urban Legend, um, which this is a uh, probably one of my favorite ones on Blu-ray. Um, you know, um, I think I I saw this when I was eight. Um, same thing with probably um, Texas Chainsaw, but um. You know, I had a hard time trying to find this on Blu-ray, um, because, like, it, it was always sold out on Amazon, um, and then, like, the only thing that they had was, like, um, the Region 2 Blu-ray release of this, um, and I'm like, I don't have a Region 3 player, so, but, um, then I finally got this for, like, um, $11, and I'm like, well, kind of a little expensive, but, well, what the hell, so I got it, um, but, um, anyway, but this is about, like, you know, this is one of those kind of movies when, like, Scream, I Know What You Did the Last Summer came out. Um, it was those kind of movies. I think Cherry Falls was the same thing, too. It was, like, one of those mystery, like, teen-type um, slasher films. But it's just based about a killer who um, is killing people based on urban legend, you know. But it's a great movie. Highly recommend it. Try finding the Blu-ray, by the way, because I'm I'm having a feeling that the Blu-ray is out of print. Okay, the next one, and of course, I I really know I got into the these kind of movies probably when I was six, which was you know Friday the Thirteenth, the original, and everyone knows Friday the Thirteenth. Who who doesn't know Jason Voorhees? And you know, obviously Jason is not, or or the hockey mask. He's not. Well, Jason is not in the first one, nor the hockey mask. I mean, this is the one, you know, about um, the camp and the closing down, and, you know, they're redoing the camp again, and, you know, the murders start happening. The great, great classic. And, of course, and everyone, of course, I always remember, I would never forget myself watching this as a kid, you know, Child's Play, Chucky, um, I remember too. Every time I watch it, I always act out all the all the scenes. I don't know why. I mean, I, I don't know why I did that. I mean, I, I guess I was a big Chucky fan. I mean, who isn't a Chucky fan? I mean, yeah. But this this one, the first one, I always really watched a lot. Um, 
the next one, and of course, I remember watching this probably when I was nine, I think, Scream, I was, it was same, well, I don't know if I acted out, but it was same thing like a child's play thing, um, you know, and everyone knows Scream, of course, Ghostface, um, the, the calls, um, making fun of the horror movies thing, everyone that knows what that is. Now, um, this next one, I guess you can consider this horror, I don't, I don't know, but, you know, Gremlins, like, uh, I, I got this out for Gremlins, the first one, um, I remember, I got scared of this movie as a kid, um, it was probably, I don't know, it was probably the part when, um, that, um, that, that teacher, um, gets killed by that one gremlin, the one who's got the candy bar, and he's like, um, here, come on, let me just see you, let me just see you, and I guess he bites his hand or something, that part, I mean, it always scared the crap out of me, I mean, part two, I remember seeing that on TV probably like a long time ago, I don't, I don't think I actually sat down and watched it. I mean, yeah. Um, and, uh, of course, the next one I have here is, you know, um, Saw movies. Well, the ones I I grew up with was um, probably the first one. And I think maybe maybe the second one. I mean, the first two was the ones I really watched very often. I mean, and the sequels, I mean, parts three to seven, I mean, they're okay. I mean, they're not really, like, the greatest movies. I mean, I mean part five was terrible. I mean... But, I mean, parts three, four, six, and seven, I mean, they're not really great or anything, but, I mean, they're, they, they, they are worth watching, though. I mean, parts one and two are the ones I, I watch very often. And, you know, and this next one, of course, um, I remember always watching this, and my mom was always asking me, why did you even like this movie? I mean, I don't know, I just kind of did. It was, you know, um, Disturbia, which, if you guys don't know, this was actually like a remake to um, the Alfred Hitchcock film, Rear Window. I don't know if you can guys, if you guys can consider this horror. I guess like a thriller in a way. But you know, I I, I remember watching this one very often though. All right. All right. The next one um I have here, and of course I my mom got me into this probably when I was seven I think. Well, I, I didn't really get into it. Yeah, I think I got into it when I was eight or nine. You know, which is Halloween. You know, Michael Myers. Um. Escaping the Insane Asylum, um, you know, great classic, um, probably one of, one of John Carpenter's best movies of all. Alright, um, now this next one, of course, I do remember always watching this one a lot, um, Creep Show. I always, yeah, this is one of those ones when I did s sit down and I just, wa I did watch it, I, it wasn't like one of those, you know, um, but this is one of, one of the greatest, like, anthology horror films of, of all, and, and the second one, too. The third one, I heard a lot of bad reviews about the one. i never really seen the third one, but it, it does, I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the first two at all. I think that's what they do say. And, um, this next one, of course, everyone knows this movie, you know, the House of Wax remake, um, very good movie. And I never even saw the original one before, um, which the 1953 one. I don't, I don't think it, it was nothing like this. I, if it if it isn't, this is a loose remake. So, but I thought this was a well done remake in my opinion. Now this next one, of course, no, no one doesn't even know this movie but me. But I remember watching it over and over and over again, and. You know, and I was happy when I got this on Blu-ray, reuniting with it eight years later, which was, you know, near death, um, very good movie, well done, made, and I don't know, there's just something about this movie I really love. This is something I always talk about a lot and very often, you know, um, a great movie. Um, of course, this next one, um, I remember because um, this one and... The Child's Play one, my my mom had on DVD. Um, I think I tore it up because I I watched it so much. But you know it was Cujo. Everyone knows Cujo, the one about the killer dog. Or well, he wasn't a killer. He had like ratings basically. But very good movie. Maybe one day they they could remake it. I don't know. Now this next one. Now okay, now this is one of those movies I didn't really sit down and watch. It was probably just one scene I always really liked and. I would just take it out, but, it, you know, Cabin Fever, the original, and, you know, the remake is not worth watching, 
but it was the scene. I think I know what scene it was. Um, I kept rewinding and rewatching over and over again. It was um, probably the part about the dog. You know, the scene when the dog has like um, the disease and um, kills that one girl, and then um, Ryder Strong's character ends up shooting him with the with the gun. That part I always remembered watching over and over again. Um, now this next one. Um, of course, I remember watching this one, which is, um, well, I got this for Deadly Trying here, um, which hopefully, I hope one day it gets a Blu-ray release, but, um, great movie. This is probably, out of, like, all the Wes Craven films I did, that's probably one of my top five, maybe, no, top ten favorite movies of his, actually. Well done movie he did. I do miss him, though. I mean, I don't really watch his movies that much anymore, because it makes me depressed, because, you know, his death and, you know... He, he's a guy he, who is going to be really missed. Okay, now, all of these are the movies that belong to my mom, so... I just wanted, you know, kind of, like, show you what they are, so, um... There's not really many left. I thought this was going to be a long video. Um, but... Here's the next one I remember watching a lot. Um, and again, this is one of the ones where I always rewinded to, to watch a certain scene, which was, you know... The original My Bloody Valentine, um... And the scene, it was probably, it was that scene when, you know, the old lady in the, um, the laundry mat, she ends up getting killed by Harry Warden. Um, that, that scene is, is the part I always watch very often. And, you know, I'm, and I'm trying to get this on Blu-ray, but it's so freaking expensive, I can never find it anywhere. And on Amazon, they're, like, selling it for, like, $59, so I'm not doing that. I mean, I'll get it if it's, like, 20 I mean, but... But now it's like 38 now. I looked at it yesterday, so... I mean, a little too expensive. I'm still not paying $38 for one Blu-ray, you know what I mean? But, um... The next one here, I... Again, this one, I remember w watching a certain scene... Um... Of this... Of some of the par some of the scenes in this movie, which was, you know, the Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. I think the scenes I remember watching a lot was the one about the cat. I remember the one about the cat. Um, and, um, probably what, and the ending of the, of the movie, you know, the part when, um, the, the witch ends up, um, getting ready to put the boy in the, um, oven, and he, he ends up putting her in the oven instead. That part I remember watching very often. And, of course, again, another movie that I always, like, go to that scene and then re, re-watch the scene that I really liked, you know, Tales from the Hood, um, which just got a blue re release, which I'm per really happy that I did. I heard some about that this was out of print for a while, but not anymore. Which, the scene that I always really watched a lot was, um, well, this was also a, um, anthology horror film. It's the scene, or the stories were, um, the one about, um, that kid getting, um, beat up by his, like, um, his mother's boyfriend, and the one about the dolls. That's the one I really watched very often. And of course, you know, Jeepers Creepers. I, I, I kind of, I really watched basically both of them. I didn't get the second one out because, um, you know, but I, I, I do, I think I did actually like sat down and watched them. But you know, and you know, they're they are talking about doing a third one, which I don't know when that's going to happen. They've been talking about it since probably like 2013, I think. I don't know, but maybe one day it'll come out. But I don't. I, as of right now, I don't know. The next one, of course, um, I'm not, again, this is one of those ones when, um, I just, re just go to the part that I really like, which was, you know, Hell Night, which, um, stars, um, Linda Blair, which the scene, it was the ending part that I've always watched a lot. I don't know what, what it is about that ending part, but it was pretty cool, I, I thought, in my opinion. Again, another movie, I really hope that it gets a Blu-ray Blu release. Um, now this one doesn't have a cover on it, now these, this is a VHS, but of course I do, I, I, oh, of course I am going to remember watching this one, and the second one very often, which is, you know, Trilogy of Terror, you know, and it's, it was always the part about the doll, um, the second one, I mean, I think I do remember watching the part about the, the, um, the rats in the second one, I don't think, but I don't think I watched it a lot. The one about and the one about the dead the dead kid I think 
same thing. I didn't really watch it. It was the one about the doll that I always watched a lot, you know. But great anthology horror film. Again, need need the Blu-ray release. And the second one, you know, it was never came out the DVD at first, but you can get it on a burn on demand thing now. And the last one, of course, I do remember watching this one very often, which was, you know, the Willies. Um very good anthology horror film. Again, also needs a Blu ray release. And this is one of those ones. Now, now this one, I did set, actually sit down and watch it. I don't know. I, it, it was everything about the movie I really liked. And I still really watch it often to this day. Um, but yeah, pretty good movie. If you haven't seen this one, check it out. Um, yeah, but that's basically um, all the movies here um, I basically watched as a kid. So I, again, I don't know if it's every single one, but, um, but yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.